Hey everyone, Keith here. In this quick video, I want to demonstrate the installation and the use of the custom CSS plugin by Tips and Tricks HQ. All right, the first thing we want to do is get it downloaded to our computer. Okay, and this is downloaded right to my desktop, so I can find it easily after. And then now in my WordPress dashboard, I'm going to click on Plugins, Add New, Upload, and I'll choose the file. Double click plugin file click install now and activate so now under the settings menu I'm gonna have a new option for custom CSS all right and really all I would have to do is enter some CSS styles in here and it'll be applied to the website it creates a special CSS file that will be automatically um, added to our in the background of our website and then those those styles will be applied and this is great because in general what people do is they'll go to appearance editor and they'll modify styles in the style sheet that comes with the theme but the problem with that is when there's a new theme that comes out and they do an auto update all their modifications will be lost so what they would have to do is copy their modifications out of the CSS file upload uh, update the theme and then paste their modifications back in. Well, with the custom CSS plugin, that's not necessary. So I'm just going to show it to you in action first. Um, let's go to the web the website here. I just got the basic WordPress theme here installed. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify the CSS for the title here. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So what I can do is right click, click Inspect Element, and I can see here on the right side that. Um, it's the site title class that affects how this um, the title is styled. So what I can do is modify the font size in my custom CSS. So I'll copy that and then Okay, so now I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. For demonstration's sake, I'll make it really big so we can see. So I'll make it 120, so I'm just going to click on Save. All right, and that should affect the title. It should make it bigger when I click Refresh. Now, sometimes um, if the style sheet is cached, we might have to push Control F5 to refresh, refresh the page, but a lot of times just F5 works. Okay, so F5. So this new style took um, and it affected the title. All right. Again, this is Keith, Tips and Tricks HQ. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.